What's up, YouTube? Back here with another video. Um, Survivor Series 1988. That's what we're going over today, every Wednesday. Um, we'll be going over a different Survivor Series program. Um, last week, I went over the 1987. Today, we're going to go over 1988, another one of my favorite Survivor Series. Um so, yeah, man, let's get right into it. Um, Survivor Series 1988. This is the sec second annual Survivor Series. Um, as you see here, Richfield Coliseum, Richfield, Ohio, November 24th, 1988. All kinds of gentlemen here on the front, as you can see. Um, 1988, one of my favorite years of wrestling. Um, just a good time. Uh, we got Pirates of Pain, Twin Towers, Demolition, uh, Dino and Andre, Honky and Ron Bass, Brutus Beefcake and Warrior, and Duggan and Jake the Snake on the cover. Uh, this one's in a little more rougher shape uh, than the rest of the Survivor Series programs that I have, as you can see there. But uh, let's just bust this thing open uh, and take a look at it, man. Survivor Series 1988. It's been a long time since I've watched this show. I might actually go watch it here this weekend. Who knows? Here, let get a closer look of it here. Um, the co-captains, the Mega Powers, Savage and Hogan with Hercules, Coco, and Hillbilly Jim. First, Akeem and Big Boss Man with a Million Dollar Man, King Haku and Red Rooster. Uh, we got Warriors Team. First, Ron Bass and Honky Tonk Man's team. Uh, I believe this is the first one that had, like, co-captains. I could be wrong. Um, as you see, yeah, there's two captains pretty much on every team. This was the big demolition turn. We'll get into that more as we get into this uh, magazine here. Big boss man there attacking uh, Hogan with Slick. Good times, man. Real good times. Blue Blazer. Hulk Hogan, WrestleMania Nintendo game. Miss Elizabeth stands by her man. Andre the Giant has a phobia. <laughs> Um, Survivor Series. So let's jump right into it. This one, this program's a little bit thicker than the first one. All right, here we have the Mega Powers, as we said earlier. Uh, we have Hogan, Savage, Hercules, Coco Beware, and Hillbilly Jim do battle with the Twin Towers, uh, Million Dollar Man, King Aku, and the Red Rooster, Terry Taylor. This was the main event, um, as you know. <clears throat> of course, Hogan the Savage would go on to get the W in this match. But that was the main event. All right, here we go. This is Ultimate Warrior and Beefcake's team. Uh, of course, first Ron Bass and uh, Honky Tonk Man. Here we got Brutus Beefcake and Ultimate Warrior. We have Jim Brunzel. The Blue Blazer and Sam Houston. Um, so yeah, this was actually supposed to be Don Morocco. Um, he left the company. I'm not sure the circumstances, and they kind of tried to split the Killer Bees up for this event and put Jim Brunzel in this team here. I do know that. I've listened to Conrad Thompson enough to know. And then on this team, we have Ron Bass, Honky Tonk Man, uh, The Hammer, Bad News Brown, and Dangerous Danny Davis. Of course, Warrior and Beefcake are the sole survivors in this match. Good time, man. Like I said, um, I really like this era of wrestling. There's nothing like it. Then in this match here, we have Hacksaw Jim. Hold on. Focus. 
We have Hacksaw Jim Duggan, Jason Snake Roberts, Tito Santana, Brian Blair, and Ken Patera. Um, this was originally supposed to be JYD. Um, and it, so he left the company. They put Brian Blair down. Brian Blair then leaves the company. So if you ever watch this event and wonder why Scott Casey's on the Survivor Series team, last minute replacement. That's why. Um, we all know Brian Blair left the company before Survivor Series. Uh, they take on Andre the Giant, Dino Bravo, Rick Rude, Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning, and Harley Race. How sad that this whole team um, no longer with us. Crazy. And Harley Race would outlive all these guys. All right, here we go. Big time. This match about an hour long. Um, we have Powers of Pain and Demolition. Um, of course, you know, this is the historic double turn during that era. Demolition would turn good, and the Powers of Pain would turn bad and join with Mr. Fuji um, on Power of Pain's team. We got the Hart Foundation, the British Bulldogs, the Rockers, the Young Stallions, and then on Demolition's team, we have the Rougeau Brothers, the Bolsheviks, the Brain Busters, and the Conquistadors. Um, this will be Dynamite Kid's uh, last match in the WWF. But the big storyline of this match, like I said, was the double turn. Um, I always liked it because I was a huge Demolition fan, as you know if you watch this channel regularly. But yeah, this these tag team matches that they had in 87 and 88 were just ridiculously long. Brain Busters, Heenan's new team. <clears throat> Ice cream mania. <laughs> Here you go. Ice cream bars. Coco Beware. George Steele. Bobby Heenan. Andre the Giant. Hogan Top Man. Million Dollar Man. Savage. Elizabeth. Hawk. Hibbilly Jim. Strike Force. And the Dragon. Interesting, because I'm pretty sure he was already gone out of the company during... Could be wrong. Mr. Perfect, no flaws. Forehead singlet. Hart Foundation, they've had enough mouth. This is where they turn on Jimmy Hart. Uh, I'll teach Hulk Hogan respect, big boss man. They killed the house show scene with Hogan versus Boss Man back then. If you don't believe me, look up the history. Got a crush ad. Always have to keep an eye on here. We got Beefcake, Akeem, DiBiase, Jack Tunney, Bobby Heenan. Got a Superstars calendar for 1989. And that's it. So, yeah, man, just wanted to run through this program. Like I said, um, next week we'll be doing 1989. If you know me well, 1989, my favorite year in the WWF. Uh, but I just wanted to share this with you. It's something different. I just want to keep showing pieces of my collection. Um, so, next, I hope you enjoyed this one. And like I said, next week we'll be going over the Survivor Series 1989 program, man. Y'all take care of each other. Uh, enjoy this fall weather. And I'm out, man. Peace.